What's up you guys? So in a surprising turn of events, after Mark Daly announcing his divorce from Kenya Moore, it's coming out that Mark Daly is actually prepping his own reality TV show. And this is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The man who said that he didn't appreciate reality TV, he didn't enjoy being on reality TV with Kenya Moore, is now prepping his own reality TV show centered around his restaurant, his business, and centered around love. So let's get into the details as reported by Bossup. Bossop reports a now ex-housewife's husband on the Real Housewives of Atlanta is prepping a new venture. Mark Daly, the estranged husband of Kenya Moore, is continuing his serial entrepreneurship and in between owning and running several businesses, he set his sights on a new prize, Reality TV. Bossop exclusively reports that the veteran restaurateur has just started production. He's in production for his own reality show with a celebrity co-star. Now you guys drop down in the comment section and let me know who you think the celebrity co-star will be. Set in Brooklyn, the show will feature and revolve around black owned businesses, restaurant management, and even love. It kind of sounds like, what was that show on WeTV? It kind of sounds like Hustle and Soul. It sounds like the same premise of Hustle and Soul. Anyway, sources say Daly, Mark Daly could be seeking a new relationship on the show. So let's hope he's luckier in love this time around. What an insult, what an insult to Kenya Moore. It goes on to say Daly is known for keeping a low profile and has been relatively quiet, especially when it comes to his private life. But over the weekend, he announced his decision to permanently split from Kenya Moore. And you guys, I covered the announcement when he announced that he was divorcing Kenya Moore. And it was kind of like, why are you announcing this? Like you've already told us before that you're separating from her. But if you listen to the announcement, he's also promoting his business. He made this announcement the day before her birthday, which was bad enough. But in the announcement, he also promoted his business. And now we know why he was promoting his business because he's promoting a reality show centered around his business, allegedly. This is what the statement said. Quote, after recently attending mediation, Kenya and I have agreed to end our marriage. I will always have great care for her and look forward to amicably continuing to co-parent our daughter Brooklyn with an abundance of love and wisdom. As always, in addition to perpetual self-improvement, my primary focus will continue to be helping the underserved and people of color in Brooklyn to recover from the negative impacts of C-19. This focus will take shape, y'all listen here, through using my restaurant as a community hub, aka reality show, where positive and diverse perspectives on important topics such as economic empowerment, social activism, and political engagement can be highlighted in a safe and productive forum. He said, I'm blessed to be a positive change agent, not just for my family, but also my community. So this is an announcement that you're divorcing your wife, but yet you call yourself a change agent. That's so interesting to me. And it's even more interesting knowing that despite all of the hoopla he made about Kenya Moore being a reality TV star and not wanting to be on reality TV, now that he's divorcing her, he's in production with his own reality show. So it makes you wonder if he told Kenya one thing, but then did another. And was he using Kenya to get access to reality TV? Like, it really makes you wonder. I'm not saying this is true. I'm just saying it makes you wonder. Now, speaking of Kenya Moore, I also want to report on Kenya setting the record straight on whether or not she donated to Candy Burris' charity, Candy Cares. Now, recently on an episode of Candy's talk show on YouTube. On Candy show on YouTube, she had Don Juan as a guest. The show is called Speak On It. And Don Juan was speaking on Kenya Moore, Miss Kenya Summer Moore, but not by name. He implied that the same person who had spent money buying an ice sculpture hadn't donated money to Candy's charity. That's what he implied. And so Kenya is responding because of course everyone knows that Kenya is the one that organized that event for Cynthia Bailey and it looked like she was the one that bought the ice sculpture. 
So Bravo reports earlier this season, the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast came together to help give out groceries to hundreds of local families. The event was an initiative of Candy Burris' Candy Cares Foundation, which she founded in 2014 to help single parent families. So Candy later said in an interview during the episode, quote, I'm really not supposed to put people on blast about their giving, but I will say some people aren't as giving as I thought they would be. And apparently some Roa fans speculated that Candy was talking about one peach in particular being Kenya Summer Moore. Kenya appeared on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen on January 24th and Andy Cohen told her the number one question for her that night concerned the donations to Candy's charity. And Kenya confirmed that she did donate to Candy Cares. She said, oh, well I did and I gave more than 5,000. So I don't know why people assume that Candy was speaking about me. So that's what Kenya said. Kenya previously called Candy's event amazing in a post on Instagram on September 11th. And she said, thank you Candy for allowing me to be at your service and share in your giving spirit. So at this point, what do y'all think? Do y'all believe Kenya more when she says she gave more than 5,000? Or do you feel like Don Juan was the one being honest, even though he didn't name drop Kenya, do you feel like maybe she bought the ice sculpture but didn't donate to charity? Leave a comment and share your thoughts on that and the whole situation on Mark Daly allegedly prepping and being in production for a new reality TV show centered around his restaurant. Being that it's reported that he's gonna have a celebrity co-host, who do you think his co-host is gonna be? I've seen a lot of people on social media saying that they believe it might be Chef Roble since Mark is friends with Chef Roble and Chef Roble is actually the one who introduced him and Kenya Moore. Bravo reported Kenya Moore was introduced by, to her husband by a Bravo lab. And this is back in 2017 when she first got married, they reported Kenya and Moore's wedding has come as a bit of a surprise to many Roa fans. Why even the person who introduced her to her husband, Mark, didn't know she'd be walking down the aisle this month. Chef Roble Ali recently sent his congrats to the newly married couple on Instagram and he posted this picture and he said, I'm so happy for y'all. When I introduced you to, I knew y'all would hit it off, but this is just wow. You got a great man, Kenya. That's my man right there. I'm trying to be like him when I grow up. Congrats y'all. So Chef Roble used to have a cooking show on Bravo called Chef Roble and Co. And him and Kenya Moore actually go way back um, to the point where people actually thought they were dating because Kenya had posted some pictures hugged up with them. And so they were dating rumors about Kenya Moore and Chef Roble. But what it was was actually a friendship between the two of them. And then Chef Roble also had a friendship with Mark Daly. So you guys leave a comment and do you think it would be Chef Roble co-hosting the show with Mark Daly? Or do you think it's another celebrity that he has up his sleeve that's going to be on the show with him? Leave a comment and share your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching.